President Xi Jinping and other Chinese leaders have been paying tribute to Jiang Zemin, who died last week at the age of 96. Sirens sounded nationwide to mark the beginning of a public memorial service in Beijing's Great Hall of the People. Leaders, dignitaries, members of the military all gathered at the ceremony and bowed three times in front of Jiang Zemin's coffin, which was draped in the Chinese Communist Party flag. Our correspondent Steve McDonald has been following the ceremony. He joins me now from Beijing. Um, Steve, I suppose it, it looks very measured. Um, is this the first of many or is this it? No, that's it. Uh, there have been several services already, like a cremation has already taken place. And this was like the final service, really, it, it, as following a series of small, low-key events, to tell the truth, marking the passing of Jiang Zemin. Uh, you mentioned that it, events were taking place today at the Great Hall of the People. It was a select crowd of senior Communist Party and military officials in the traditional way. They were bowing with the image of Jiang Zemin up on stage. His wife was there in the front uh, watching events looking pretty sad, as of course you would expect. But members of the general public were not taking part in this. And there's been some discussion about that and the fact that the government has sort of tried to minimise this to even downplay it because of fears that people gathering to mourn Jiang Zemin, well, well that might sort of morph into more protests. And the two reasons for that is that, of course, there have been recent protests against zero COVID. Also, it's happened before. When Huya Bang died, that's what created the protest movement in Tiananmen Square. Now, uh, Xi Jinping will be a keen student of history and know that that is what happened. Uh, and so they don't want to replicate those events again. Right, but fair to make that very point that the public haven't come out uh, in number, uh, whether to protest or indeed to pay their respects. No, that's right. And, you know, we were out in the streets in Beijing and another team in Shanghai. Very different. I mean, in Shanghai, people were sounding their horns at the designated time. Now, remember, that was his power base. That's where he was based for a long time. Uh, but in Beijing, nothing really. I think most people in the city didn't even seem to know what time these the three-minute period was when they were supposed to stop and pause because the the cross-section we were standing at, it was like completely normal life. I think that's not because people don't want to pay their respects. I just think most didn't know that that's when it was. And, um, and a way of showing that there is an enthusiasm to mark his passing, uh, there's been a, a cartoon of, of Jung Zemin sort of waving goodbye. And lots of people here have been sharing that cartoon today on social media, on their phones and this type of thing. So, yeah, like I said, there is an enthusiasm to mark this in some way, but not much opportunity for the general public to take part.